Hi guys, Top Hops here, and in today's video, I found a Funko Pop graveyard. So let's get started! So Luca was the one that actually planned out this entire trip. He's been wanting to go to different thrift stores because he's been looking for some older video games. Which ones exactly, I'm not sure, but I'll go with it because I usually find some good stuff. And one of the places that we decided to go to was Treasure Hunt, and it just happened that there was a Goodwill next door too. And I actually haven't been to this store in years. I think the last time I would have went there was like maybe late 2019, early 2020. It's been a while. And I did end up finding some Funko Pops, but if you're from Canada, you would definitely know what store these were originally from. I found some from Tailspin, Workaholics, the ones that you would have seen at Walmart a couple years ago. And it looks like these things have been sitting there for a long, long time, especially that Louie, because when you look at him, his box was completely taken just so it would stay together. And so it really was sad to see all of these figures that nobody was really ever gonna purchase. And I think the best one there was Louie, but I already have him in the collection. Oh, and actually that wasn't it for the Funko products. I also found a Sinestro door, but I believe the last time I saw that figure was at this treasure hunt. And like I mentioned earlier, that would have been in like 2019, 2020. So they've been there for a bit. And then the last thing that I found was a Secret Life of Pets DVD bundle and it came with two Pocket Pops. And if you'll notice, they actually tried to scratch out the Walmart logo and Treasure Hunt, you're not fooling anybody. And if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that right there was probably the best thing in the entire store just because the Pocket Pops seemed to be in brand new condition with a good box on the inside. Okay, now I wanted to cut in really quickly because I had actually found the original clip from when we went to Treasure Hunt back in 2020. And I wanna show you this clip because of the amount of collectibles they had and there was some pretty nice stuff. All right guys, so over here in Treasure Hunt, I see a lot of Funko figures. We'll kind of build ourselves up to the pops but for now they have some of the wobblers which are the newer wacky wobblers so they, they used to make wacky wobblers and they made a stylized version called wobbler so they have han solo as well as lando and i think that's it for the two of them but they do have some of these black series figures as well those are really nice and i don't know if they have any of the marvel legends ones it'd be cool if they did because a lot of you guys always want me to show them off for you guys um, here's some mystery minis here for 10 bucks, so kind of expensive um, for the Horizon Zero Dawn ones, but it is a cool game. Uh, maybe I'll pick one of them up. I don't know. I don't play the game too much, but it is neat to see them here. And then we can get into the pops over here, and it doesn't look like they're too crazy, but these are the, probably the ones that we would find here in Walmart in Canada because this seems to be about what we would get. Oh, and everything is 60% off as well, so it is much cheaper. Okay, so maybe I will get something. I don't know. I'm looking around here, though. I would like to get the whole Workaholic set. If they just have Anders, though... I think I have him. I think I do. Yeah, I know, they've got the wobblers over there and then they also have all the pops over here, Mom. I also noticed this guy, see this is what I'm talking about though with the Walmart ones. They've got Nina Williams here. See, Mom, these are probably all from the Walmart because look, the Walmart stickers like blocked off. It's kind of messy. I know, there isn't too many great things, but maybe I'll get Anders, but I think I have him from when Kenny and I bought out an entire Walmart. I think we do own that. I love these. Probably. Well, they're the wobblers, wobblers. Now, hold on, this right here could be the exclusive. It is. Now, I wonder if they'd have the chase. Probably not. I think that would be gone by now, but it'd be cool to see if they do. Maybe I'll look around and see if they do. Okay, so we're doing some more digging. They almost fell, and we found these here. It's the Finn ones. Now, this is him in the Stormtrooper outfit. I like now, it. this is the older Wacky yeah. Wobblers. This is yeah. what I'm talking about. So, this is what Wacky Wobblers look like. They look more Realistic. like the actual character. But yeah. the other ones, like Jin here, another one that we found, is kind of more stylized, like kind of showed off. Um, same with the Han Solo there. But yeah, these are pretty cool. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get them, but I'll probably pick something out today. Now this right here guys is something that we don't see very often. This is a Sinestro Dorb. Now it's on sale for $3 but then it's also 60% off. So that is really great. Um, as well guys, I noticed they have a bunch of Louis here from Tailspin. I looked to see if they have the chase. I'm guessing it'd be gone by now. Um, so I don't see one here. He'd have a different outfit on. Um, so you'd be able to see it from the side. But yeah, still really cool that they have so many of them. And you never know, they could have had a chase at one point. Guys, I also found this one here. This is Agnes from Despicable Me 3. The box is super damaged and it's $12.94. So I'm not going to get it, but I did want to show it off. And as you guys can tell, they haven't gotten anything new since 2020, which is kind of sad because I was hoping I would find some new stuff today. But it seems like just the exact same figures, way more damaged. And so I didn't pick up anything over at Treasure Hunt. But then we went to Goodwill next door and I got two pretty interesting things. With the first one here being one of the original football Funko Pops, and this one here was actually Andrew Luck, and I looked him up on the Funko app, he's going for about $28. And if you're wondering how much I paid for this figure, it was only $10, so not bad at all. And I'm also looking on the back here, and it's kind of funny because they put all of the characters into, like, one list on the back, and they didn't actually show the figures. And if you guys want to check it out, there they are. And I get that this isn't in perfect condition, so I wouldn't be able to get the full $28 for it, but whenever I see a figure over at a thrift store, I like to pick them up. And then the other thing that I ended up getting wasn't a Funko product, but it was actually a Pez item. And I say item because it's not really a dispenser. Let me just show you. It was actually a Marvin the Martian, kind of like electronic Pez 
Lopez, I guess you could say dispenser still. But it's not one of those like traditional ones where you flip the head up and it does it. You actually push a button on the front and then it comes out of the rocket and he like serves it to you. It's pretty neat. And if you're wondering how much I paid for this right here, it was only $5. And then that was pretty much all of the thrifting that we did for today. And then I saw that we were passing by the mall where my usual GameStop is. And I was like, hey, can we stop by? And Luca said yes. And so when we got in there and I was looking around in the back, I didn't really see much that I was looking for. Like there was a couple new things, but nothing that really piqued my interest. Until I was passing by the cash and they stopped me to say, hey, Tristan, you've got a bunch of pre-orders in. So let's go through them. And so I guess we'll start with the other Looney Tunes product that I was able to pick up today. This one here is the newer Bugs Bunny dribbling from Space Jam A New Legacy. And this one here, in my opinion, is way better than the other Bugs Bunny that they made because that one was kind of just like him standing there where this one's him in an action pose. He also has a silver basketball in his hand. And if you're wondering, the only figure now that I'm missing from this new set is the Algae Rhythm with Pete. And I have pre-ordered it. It just seems like it hasn't arrived yet. And then after Bugs, apparently I had pre-ordered this one and I talked about it actually in yesterday's video. So it's kind of funny that I'm picking it up today. But this one here is Machine Gun Kelly. And I'll be honest with you guys, I have listened to Machine Gun Kelly a little bit, but not enough to really have like a favorite song. I just thought the pop was interesting. Because this one here is actually the second pop rocks where they've made him jumping in the air, with the first one being Eddie Van Halen. And so I thought because of that, it would be a fun one to pick up. And also it looks like he's about to like land on the ground. It's pretty sick. I'm really enjoying the amount of detail that Funko put into this figure with him having the nose ring as well as his earrings and then there's even something written on the guitar under his arm. And I think the only thing that looks a little bit weird about this figure is maybe the color of his hair. Like it almost seems like a grayish white instead of like the bleach blonde like it normally is. But I guess, no, that might be close. I don't know, it just looks a little bit off to me. But other than that, I think it's a pretty cool figure and I'm glad I was able to add it to the collection. And then after Machine Gun Kelly, I was able to get two figures from Hawkeye and they are these ones right here. Uh, can you see? Oh, you can see it on the back. Well, anyways, it doesn't really matter. I was going to tell you in a second anyways, but the first one here being Kate Bishop with Lucky the Pizza Dog, and then the other one is the Chase Yelena. And I've honestly been having some really great luck with my GameStop, so if you guys don't pre-order your figures, you definitely should, because you could be getting stuff like this all the time. And this is in no way paid by GameStop, I just really enjoy the store. And so if you guys are wondering what's different about the Chase Yelena versus the normal one, is that this one here actually has the complete helmet on, and then I think the body is exactly the same. And I think my favorite one out of the entire set has to be Kate Bishop because she's got the bow in one hand and then with Lucky on the side there with his eye closed so it's almost exactly how it looks in the show it really does look cute. And now the only two that I'm missing from the set is Hawkeye as well as Maya Lopez and I believe that they're going to be coming out a little bit later on and I think it's said on GameStop's website like sometime in the middle of March so I'll have to pick them up then. And I don't know if I ever talked about it but I did really enjoy Hawkeye when I watched it so I'm glad I was able to get this set in a reasonable time. And I've actually got two more things in the bag. One of them being the GameStop exclusive Jar Jar Binks and then the other one being, are you guys ready for this? I don't even know why they got this in but they had one godspeed soda so i picked it up and also i was thinking of doing another video where i compare the old to new figures and if you guys want to see that jar jar would probably be in the video and i totally understand that this is the clone wars jar jar versus the movie one but i think they still have an updated version of this and this is probably similar to what the head would look like if they made the movie one again and just overall i think that they did a really great job with this jar jar the one thing that i find a little bit funny is the way his mouth is to the side but that's what it's like in the show and something that i think they got way better on this figure versus the original one is the way they did the eyes because for the original one they're really close to the head but this one looks pretty accurate to the actual character and also i really do enjoy the pose that they gave this figure because the original one it's just these static arms to the sides where this one here he looks a little bit more i want to say flamboyant or maybe flowy i hope that makes sense all right now everybody let's get into the soda and let's find out if we got a chase on this godspeed because i believe the chase version is glow in the dark and that would be pretty cool and also something that i'm really liking about getting the sodas over at game GameStop is that they're a little bit cheaper because with my edge card I get them for like $17.50 and that's not bad. Especially with most other places here in Canada having them for like $20 to $25 it's a pretty nice deal. And now let's find out if we got a glow-in-the-dark version with this soda. Okay here we go let's go come on. Now I feel like it might be kind of hard to tell because the white part glows in the dark it might just be a different type of paint so I'm not sure yet. Okay, so looking at this one here, it might glow in the dark. And also, I really enjoy the lightning all over them. It's a really nice touch. And I think it might be one of the only times we've seen that on a soda. But uh, it feels like the common to me. And so I guess we'll find out together. Let me shake this thing up and let's see. Is it going to be the chase? It is not. This is the common Godspeed. And I believe they only had one of them in. Otherwise, I would have got two today. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys have ever found a Funko Pop graveyard just like I did today. Because 
it is kind of sad when it happens, especially when they have to tape the boxes up so they stay together. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. 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 Baby gonna school. School. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. Three, five, four, four. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Hey. Lama lashes.